What is going on guys and welcome back to another Skyforge video news. So today we're going to talk about the new update they just dropped. So I'm doing the video right now on the go. So let's go right from the website. So they finally post the patch notes or translated the patch notes because I was actually using and reading on the Russian server on a Russian website actually. So what exactly already they did, what they added. So I already knew, but since we do have the translated version right now on the west side on the website we can actually go and through read through it a lot of us already know what kind of exactly or an idea what exactly actually came into the game but again let's just go and read through the patch notes real quick so the structures in the capital stronghold has been removed we all know that so we already actually knew that a long time ago but when they announced the first time the cards in the Hall of Trophies that upgraded the Stronghold has also been removed. Yep, we know that. Players who bought them with victory medals got refunded. Okay, we got that part. Those who unlock the ranks uh, when they switch to new era will receive the full cost of the ranks. So, yeah. It depends on, I guess, on the stage when you maxed all your trophies. If it's gonna be before new era or whatever. So, doesn't really matter. We know we got refunded. Whatever the amount it is, I think I got like... Oh, hold on. I think I got like three or 300,000 or 500,000 victory medals back. I actually have to double check. Let me actually go and look at the, how much I have, 537k. So I, yeah, I think I got a, almost, almost 400k back. So because I already had hundred and something thousand on my, in my bag. Yeah, I got about 300 and something K back, which is not bad. I mean, I'll take it. I got 537,000 right now, so it's pretty good. Since the stronghold has been removed, we also had made changes to military development projects. These items now grant credits instead of stronghold resources. So I guess if you still was getting those or if you have them in the bag when you didn't use it, which I wouldn't think, why wouldn't you use it? you can when you use those you can get the credits which pretty good you know depend i don't know what's the amount because i never got them so if you know the amount please leave a comment section in the comment section down below in the place of the removed stronghold there is a now structure in the capital that combines old bastions you can now unlock symbols without switching between the provinces this one is actually really good like right now you can see bastion right here so instead of just going through the provinces, right? Bastion, okay, let's close this shit. Go to provinces, next one. You know, you can just go to your capital, unlock the bastion, and just switch the tabs right here. Boom, all the, and you can just accept the quest right here, which is pretty cool. Really, really, really cool. Um, now that makes, because of that thing in the capital, it kind of makes this shit is useless. I would say. I mean, yes, while you progress and through the golden road, you gonna have to kind of click on it like a new one and then just accept the quest and move on to the next one. Um, I guess when you already finish the provinces, that's kind of an easy way to access your bastions and just accept the quest when you finish something. Yeah, it makes sense, but kind of 50-50 for me. The Cathedral and Tower of Knowledge now have a temporary development limit. You can remove the restrictions by earning a certain amount of feats, feet points, pet, I don't know how to pronounce that freaking word, feet points, I believe. Once the restriction is removed, the cathedral will start gathering a map passive bonus for each ritual performed in it. Okay, so I did max my soft, I got my soft cap on my cathedral, which was very easy. I was actually surprised. Every ritual I clicked, I got like almost... 6,000 uh, followers per click, sometimes even more, I believe. I think the lowest that I got it was like 1,500 followers per ritual. So, and we can see right now, feet, uh, feet points, 0 out of 20. So if I click that button, go to feats, it put me to this page right here. So it's a season, feet, tab, and then we can see the challenges we have to do. So I am not sure how exactly... What does it say? Uh, you can remove restrict. Okay, once the restriction is removed. Okay, ch uh, change the number of rituals. No, oh, and research that uh, can be conducted. Uh, stimul. Oh, okay, so we use the stimulant instead of four now. It gives you six. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, but this one part, I actually don't get it. So let's see. You can remove this restriction by earning a certain amount of 
points. Oh, okay, I get it. So let we gonna go to capital, right? We're gonna open cathedral. So this is the points, I believe. So okay, so you need twenty points to do the one restriction, I believe. So I guess. Uh, let's see, twenty points. Uh, I'm doing the wrong. Let's see, feet. Oh, come on. So two, three. So six, ten, eighteen, twenty. But you do have, uh, hold on, Embrace Nightmare, so 20, 24 points, you can get, oh no, you can get uh, 30. You can get 30 points on the first day, kind of, on, I guess on the first day. I mean, it says gain 50 bonus prestige rank, which I, I doubt you can do it on the first day. So 24 points, you can do it on the first day. So obviously, if you're doing, uh, what do you call it, the, the challenges, so you technically can do it first 20 points in the first day. I'm not sure about the treasure of Nayori Island. If there is like a, you know, have to wait for certain days maybe or something like that. But uh, I might gonna have to do the video on that as well. So I have to get into this treasure of Nayori Island ch achievement challenge and then just make a video for it. Anyway, let's move on. So we read, we read this stimulant part. So instead of when you use your stimulants, uh, it, instead of four rituals, for example, it just gives you six there you go so you got six when you use your stimulants makes sense good I, I like that part Anderson issue where if you reach the development limit in cathedral great rituals would attract a reduced number of followers I haven't seen anything like that so the ketchup system oh so when you reach the limit okay I see I see what they're talking about yeah I think it was happening before this before this so it looks like right now it's fixed the ketchup system in cathedral now grants followers it has been significantly accelerated catching up should now take around 11 days rewards for directives may include one reward with resources for catching up in cathedral per day you can accumulate up to seven rewards of this type so the ketchup system in the cathedral now grants oh, okay so that's what it is that's every time i cl click the ritual it's like five it was giving me way more followers than before of course like five five thousand six thousand i was getting like almost even seven thousand per quarter of course it's a chance but the, like i said before like earlier it was uh, between 1500 1500 followers the lowest that i was getting per ritual up to like seven thousand followers uh per ritual so that's pretty actually good moving on uh address an issue where certain scientific development projects in the character's bag were not counted by the ketchup system where when it when it calculated how much you need to reach the current ring so it's a, for the tower of knowledge so i don't know so i guess somebody who was keeping those in in their bags they kind of complained about it i never seen it i i, I always use in them uh, i actually surprised that today from my directives i got twice that card for my tower so i was able to get six free rings from the ketchup system which is pretty good i like that might and equipment removed might from equipment increase the amount of might granted by cards in the hall of trophies before each rank granted 10 might but now it should grant 25 30 50 70 or 100 might depending on the rank yes it did change i saw that i actually can show it right now you definitely if you know if you remember the number like visually how it looked like it's definitely changed so now it's definitely a little bit higher than it was before the only one thing i don't like about the that where is that uh, the might modifier in the cards of the hall of trophies has been reduced by half this is why i don't like that i mean we paid technically for we use i, I don't know if they refunded those victor medals as well i am i gonna am i'm gonna have to ask about it but i i doubt they did but i mean i paid for two percent right let's say so it's a half 1.5 so it's through i paid for three percent right it doesn't matter how much i spend victor medal if i bought it on sale or not i mean i paid for three percent of bonus now you cut in this by half where is my half of uh, victor medals i don't know it's i'm just you know thinking logically so i paid for full bonus now i'm getting only half what is my victor medals did you refund those to me or not that's what i want to know 
And if you want to know about that as well, well, leave the comment down below. Relics for adepts uh, that grants might now grant superiority instead. That one I actually didn't check. Let's go and check it out. 1500 superiority, of course, is going to depend on a level of your 1900. Yep, on a level of your um, relic. So if you have the current relics, they will give the highest one, which I believe 19. The highest one is a 1900. Yes. Maybe not. Maybe it's already 2000 probably because I didn't get the last ones, I believe. All right, let's move on. Next one. Improvements for new player. This is where I wanted to. This is the part that I kind of like, but I still have to actually test it out, which I'm starting today. The uh, zero pay to win challenge on my new character. Update the tutorials that help beginners learn about the game. Well, again, just the words. I have to actually physically see it and see what's the improvement because I've done so many lobby new characters because I was doing that beginner's guide. So I definitely going to see the difference. If there is anything good, of course, I will definitely mention in my videos. So the path to junior divinity will be easier and more comprehensible. Okay. I, I will take this word. You know, I will, I will believe this words, but again, I will test it out. Updated the campaign story before the battle against Thanatos. Only players who have not yet completed the Thias Temple adventure can experience the updated story. Okay, let's see. Where's the Thias Temple? Oh, so it's a Linus province. So it's a third province. Well, yeah. Thias, it was always Thias Temple. The last, well, updated story before that. So they did, I think they did some updated story. But there was always story until the, actually... Chrono... Where's the... Oh, yeah, so before it was Nirian's castle. So now they updated, actually, until Thaya's temple. I don't remember. I think I, I saw that was some kind of a storyline until Thaya's temple. But I guess they updated. Anyway, updated... I will look, I will see on my new character. Okay, campaign adventures can now be completed with a group of up to three players. Really? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Even though that uh, those missions... Okay, so they can finally fix that. That's pretty cool. So it means that after the... I believe after should be Oki Island or maybe after the highest temple. Probably because this, if you have a storyline until Thaya's Temple right now, then you're not going to be able to probably get into the group and do the storyline together. I might be wrong. I will have to test it out. Change the change the rewards for completing regions in the campaign. So now it looks like it doesn't give you. Well, we're going to change. So it's not going to give me uh, knowledge of enemies anymore or what or it still gives you enemies, knowledge of enemies, but maybe something else. That, that's kind of a, like so dumb to like change the rewards for completing regions in the campaign. Like what the fuck you changing? Come on, let me know. Tell me here. Like, I mean, I know I can check it out in a game, but if I'm reading the patch notes, I want to know. Okay. Added hints about bosses abilities. That's actually pretty interesting. That's makes a lot of, it definitely going to help a lot for new players to actually avoid and, you know, kind of see when a boss actually use the ability and you can yeah, avoid it or something like that shield yourself something protect yourself okay added pictures and more detailed descriptions to the path of the class quests i mean i don't know if i'll see because i got all of the classes anyway uh archer i mean looks kind of the same to me added pictures and more detailed description to the path of the class quest oh it's a, oh, so it's a quest. So when you can actually accept the quest, when you, let's say, play the class and you have to unlock the abilities. Okay, whatever. It's, yeah, I get it. And let's see, various. Haskell and Temple. Address an issue where dying in the battle against something would cause players to end up behind invisible wall, making the boss unreachable. Kairos Caves, Kairos Boro Catacomb, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all these missions. Uh, now you need to eliminate enemies' troops at certain stages. Addressed a few issues in these adventures that allow you to evade certain enemy groups okay they make it more harder people find the shortcuts for those missions to how to run those super fast and get full reward from the mission so that makes if 
there is one of those missions are a nightmare mission and you can bypass a lot of enemies oh man it's a that's farm of credit becomes super easy but now it's you have to kill everything pretty much in the mission well you have to kill everything yeah there is an issue where in the control mode players were unable to select anything in the character appearance interface on the controller mode never mind uh address an issue where operations tab appeared in the interface long before the player unlocked operation the location column in the pentan members list now displays the name of the adventure or region where the character is it used to show zone before updated the icons for the basic version of class costumes added descriptions for the class costumes uh, i don't care about that lower the fight altitude of the warden of death what is that supposed to mean adjusted the position of picked up weapons in a fire starter hand okay well that's kind of okay i already played a little bit on my main character of course the oceanides are very weak enemies so with this build on my, as a companion damage on my sound weaver i was sometimes doing mission while i was talking to somebody in discord and literally my overload module was killing enemies i was standing not doing anything so of course the ocean is kind of weak weak enemies in the just the regular missions like invasions and stuff so i don't know about the trials i don't think you get any ocean is there but just the basic missions it's kind of they weak they weak um so i do like again i do like this part right here the bastion so if you completed all provinces already and you're working on your junior god form and stuff like that you don't have to go through each provinces and just accept the bastion missions here and do those quests pretty good i like it i like the part that you can do get to the soft cap on cathedral really fast because it gives you speed loads of followers per ritual which means it's actually worth right now spending 150,000 credits for the amount of followers you get um and it makes sense it would definitely make sense to use maybe stimulants if you want to just reach the soft cap pretty fast like right now i am this is the soft cap right here one million two hundred thousand sixty three uh, yeah whatever tower still the same nothing changes there you still get the same amount of percentage between two to five per reach uh, per research uh it's still random it could be two three four or five percent well i never seen five percent i did got the five percent today but i never seen it before so i guess they updated it that a little bit i would still uh, it would be nice if you can get more than that at least up to 10 percent. so maybe increase the minimum like three percent then five seven and ten something like that i think that would still be good because it's not easy to upgrade the tower because you know i know some people might have like millions on millions and millions of knowledge of enemies but still for us regular people who doesn't have that amount of knowledge of enemies you know i would take the increased percentage instead of freaking suffering from two three and five percent come on just make my life a little bit easier please but i think yeah that's um that's pretty much all yes I, they did increase the this numbers right here i don't like that they cut it on half i think they should have just kept it full at least this is my opinion if you know there is, should be a reason why they did it and i know i think they said why on one of the posts they said because you might be too overpowered after all these changes that they made i do like the part that you don't have any more might on your gear the only thing you have to upgrade your integrity is just for the superiority but the cool part about that is that now it actually you can skip a lot of invasions just being lower generation gear of course it depends still depends on your main power of your character like if you maxed pretty much on everything like might and stuff and trophies then like right now it's uh, what gen 29 so I'm three generations behind the invasion of course it also depends on invasions as well but still three generations for me i can save up farm credits if i wanted to and then if i really see that i'm struggling because maybe my rank is too low to do missions that i should have able to do it anyway but because of my rank is a little bit lower so let's say i cannot do some trial missions on a trial difficulty then yes i okay now i have to upgrade my gear but by that time i will 
have shitloads of credits and just not gonna have to worry about it. Upgrade it back to whatever, let's say Gen 20, Gen 30, for example, and then just stick with that for at least three or four invasions if I wanted to. So yeah, uh, yeah, this is it for this video, guys. I think there's nothing else to talk about. Like I said, on the new challenge, Zero Pay to Win challenge, I will, I'm starting it today, actually. The first video will be posted tomorrow. And of course, I know I have to announce uh, the winners for the giveaway tomorrow as well. So that's going to be the quick video, five minutes video. Um, but the main video for the challenge will be also posted tomorrow as well. All right, guys, uh, if you like this update or you don't like this update, whatever think you whatever you think about this update, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, if you like this video, please smash that like button. It definitely helps you out to discover my videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, activate notification that you're not going to miss new video I post. You can also follow me on Twitter because sometimes I will do the giveaways on Twitter as well, not just YouTube. And yes, so follow me on Twitter. You can join my Discord server as well. All the links you can find in the description. Until the next time, take care.